OBS Creus V2 dual coil version. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Femmic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the OBS Creus V2 dual coil version. Uh, the OBS Creus tank was a legendary rebuildable tank atomizer from OBS at the time, had loads of innovative features that are still used in RTAs today. They brought out a V2, but they brought out a single coil V2 about four or five months ago. This is the dual coil V2 version, and it uses the same deck as their brand new bottom feeding RDA, the Creus RDA. 25 mil wide, 4 mil capacity, still got that classic Creus OBS top fill. It's got juice flow control, it's got airflow control, and uh, a really cool, interesting deck. Uh, vaping a bit like this. Let's go down low, put a build in, have a little look on all that stuff, then we'll come back up top for pros and cons of this. See you in a sec. Okay guys, here we are down low with the Creus V2 dual coil version from OBS. This is the black one that I haven't used yet. Opening her up, great packaging as always uh, from OBS, sliding that open. Sorry, this is a stainless steel one, what am I talking about? Uh, so we'll put that on there and uh, you've got your spares in here. You've got your cotton, your O-rings, a couple of coils, a blue screwdriver, yay, and uh, all that good stuff in there. Put that to one side. Up there, and here we go. This is it. This is the OBS Creus V2 dual coil. Uh, really cool looking drip tip. Now, it looks like a goon tip. I'll forgive you for thinking that, but actually it is not. It's a traditional 510 drip tip in the size and shape of a goon tip. Really interesting move. Uh, we'll talk about that when we go up top. But yes, your normal uh, 510 drip tips will fit in here fine. It's got that classic, 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 classic OBS Creus top fill. Love that. It's one of the best top fills in the game. And uh, yeah, absolutely love that. So that is that. Um, moving down the tank, we've got our... Uh, adjustable airflow here we've got a big glass section here obviously then we've got our adjustable airflow and it moves like that and there are four of these holes going around here so you can adjust your uh, airflow quite a lot obviously no mouth to lung ability here purely uh, direct lung tank but uh, a good amount of adjustment available a little bit of protrusion on the 510 pin uh, not bad not bad designed by OBS Creus 2 dual coil written on the bottom there if we unscrew the deck, this is where the magic happens. Actually, as I'm unscrewing the deck, you can see here, if you look at this bit here, you can see the juice flow control in action. That's it closed, and that's it open. So when you do top fill it, it might be best to just close it up like that, then open this up and pop your juice in. Uh, so that is the juice flow control. Unscrewing the deck. There we go. Look at this beastie. Look at that. Look at that absolute monster of a thing. Uh, you've got your massive, uh, let's get a little pointer. You've got your uh, huge air intakes here. You've got your wicking holes down here. That's where the juice comes in, so your cotton goes down there. Uh, and down each side like that you can see it's clearly dual coil and you can see it has the same deck going on as uh, the uh, Creus RDA which just came out as well so yeah big old uh, big old thing um, I'll stick some coils in here so you can see how it works okay so this is how this deck works it's one big screw down the middle here you get your Phillips head and uh, you just begin unscrewing and you just keep unscrewing and screwing and screwing and screwing and screwing and screwing so you've got enough space here 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 and here for your coils and when you've got that space you just stick them in one in there one in there push it right up against it turn it around 
in there, one in there. As you can see, if you unscrew it a lot, it gets very loose, this top section. Hold them together, nice and tight. And screw this back together. As you're screwing it back together, just keep going nice and tight, and we'll sort out these, tidy up these coils. Okay, so we've got our coils in now, nice and easy, as you saw. Um, piece of cake, just stick them in each side and turn it down, it's all good. Um, the coils go in at a nice sort of height, like that. You know, obviously you can adjust that a bit yourself, but basically alongside the white um, bit of the deck, no real issue. As you can see, these are quite big, beefy Claptons, and there's plenty of room for them in there. Uh, and you've just got to wick them up now. Let's give it a wick. Okay, guys, so wicking it up uh, like this, you want to just get a nice big lump of cotton down the middle here. Shave it all off, give it a really good brushing out, thin it up as much as you can. You want it all nice and frayed and fluffy all down here, all like this. Like I've got it here, so it's all spiky and fluffy here. And then you just you don't want too much in these channels here, just a bit poking in there, all fluffed up, covering up this cap. But enough room in here, enough space in here, that you can put your screwdriver in you don't want it all blocked off in there. You want it nice and fluffy, which is what this is. Uh, so you do that on both sides, and you've got yourself a nicely wicked up RTA. Uh, I'll just show you the one that I've been using. This is the black one. This has got its uh, third build in now. Um, and uh, there we go. Look at that. All juicy, all lovely. Just that cotton poking into those bottom bays there juicing it right up a treat and uh, that is vaping away beautifully up top so let's go back up top and uh, pros and cons this thing see you in a sec okay guys that was the Creus V2 dual coil version down low um, really solid I've said for a long time OBS make great atomizers and it is true the build quality is sensational all the parts all come together really nice. Um, I always like the way they look and I always like the way they perform. The OBS tanks especially are superb on the whole. Really big fan of the engine, uh, really big fan of the original Creus, etc, etc, etc. And this one's no exception, this is a very solid RTA in my opinion. If we were to nitpick some negatives, um, the only ones that really spring to mind for me are it's not TPD compliant. Uh, I haven't seen any anything that suggests it, it will be TPD compliant in any way. There was no rubber bung in here. Um, there's no short a tank or anything like that. So I don't know if it's going to be available in UK shops. It doesn't seem to be TPD compliant to me. Uh, so that's a thing. The other thing is the drip tip. Very interesting to go with the uh, traditional 510 size drip tip. I really like the, this drip tip that comes with it. It's really cool looking, but it is a 510, and you can push the wattage quite high on this tank. So to go with a 510 drip tip is an interesting move. If they'd have gone with a goon tip, they could have filled it in. They could have filled in the bore as much as they'd liked, but it would have allowed people to put their own goon tips in and have more air if they'd have wanted. So it's an interesting move to go with a goon looking tip that is actually a 510 size. Very interesting move, I'm not sure about that. Um, it certainly looks like it would have gone with a goon tip well. So that's just a little thing, a tiny little thing. Uh, lastly, the, the third sort of possible negative is I'm still not quite sure about this deck. Uh, it's the deck that they used in the Creus RDA. I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit, it works fine. It works absolutely fine. And so I'm struggling to criticize it in a way. But when you unscrew that screw all the way and you, it's wobbling around like mad as you're putting your leads in, it just doesn't seem quite right to me. I don't know. I don't see how it's better than a velocity deck. I don't see how this wobbly, uh, what is it called? Uh, Zirconica? High-tech Zirconica is that white stuff. Uh, I'm just not sure how this, that wobbly deck is uh, is any way better. It's very, very similar in the way it performs. It's very, very similar to Velocity deck, except it just seems a bit more janky. I'm just not sure about that deck. Uh, but again, I've had no issues with it building on this. is a 
a breeze, you know. I just don't know about that. I just a slight, oh, something about it. You'll see it up close and make your own decisions on that. But uh, it really doesn't hold the tank back in any way. Just maybe a little, eh, little thing. Beyond that, I like this tank. Love the top fill, love the juice flow control, uh, love the airflow, uh, the amount of airflow you can get. This is wide open. Vast, vast, nice full lung hit. You can also close it right down. Gets a little bit whistly, but you can close it right down. Nice restricted lung hit. You can't in any way mouth to lung this at all, but the airflow adjustment is nice for your direct lungers. Vaping like this. Nice, thick, dense clouds and lovely, lovely flavour. Uh, very, very nice indeed. So well made. Really nice looking. Available in a range of colours as well. 4mm capacity, 24mm wide. You can get your nice big sexy coils in here. No issues with building. No issues with wicking, flooding, leaking, anything like that. Really solid, solid tank. Um, so overall, really, really good. Really enjoying the vape. Now where does this sit? Where does this sit in the, the vast universe of RTAs that are already available? I suppose the one that springs to mind to go up against is the Bravo. I love the Bravo from Watofo. So where does it sit against that? Well, for me personally, my personal judgment is over 60 watts, I think the Bravo edges it. It's just a little bit faster wicking, it's just a little bit beefier, it's got that goon tip, uh, I think it's slightly airier. Over 60 watts, I think I'm still going to go with the Bravo. Under 60 watts, I think this Creus V2 dual coil is better. I think it is better. I think the deck is a bit more reduced, flavour's a bit more intense at lower wattage. Uh, the flavour really does go down on the Bravo as you lower your wattage, whereas this one, flavour is on point around that 40 to 60 watt mark especially uh, very very nice vape around there so under 60 watts i think this creus v2 wins it over 60 watts maybe still look at the bravo for its cloudiness um so there we go really great tank though really great tank another great tank from obs creus v2 if you vape you know 35 to 65 watts check this rta out very cool indeed i've been vic like comment subscribe and i'll see you again soon